I hope you have all had a wonderful day. Today we got to get into Kiki Wyatt, and I do love me some Kiki Wyatt. Not only is she a fellow Pisces, she is also my birthday twin. Kiki Wyatt is pregnant with her 11th baby, and I definitely have mixed emotions about this whole situation. But let me first get into her announcement. She posted on social media with a series of some pictures, and she says, My husband, Zachariah David Daring, and I are proud to announce that our family will be adding a plus one to the Wyatt Bunch. Our other daughter, and then she added her daughter, um, says, wasn't available for the picture, but you're with us in spirit, sugar. For those who were asking questions about that, her daughter's off in college, so it's not like her daughter purposely could not be there or that there's something medically wrong with her daughter. So on to this pregnancy, when is enough enough? When is too many children, frankly, just too many kids? Now, I'm not trying to be too hard on her because at the end of the day, when I look at her, I consider her to be biracial. A lot of people will consider her to be black. And I feel like if it wasn't for that, they probably would offer her her own TV show. And I don't mean the type of TV show that she was on before with a bunch of other women. I'm talking about something with her, her husband and the children. Since that's not the case and you are a celebrity singer, always on the go, I would imagine that has to be really hard to raise any amount of children, especially 11. Now, I'm quite sure they do have some super moms out there where 11 kids is nothing to them. Or some people say back in the day, you know, women, they had a whole bunch of kids. But now we're not living in that day and time. I do understand that she has a husband. But one thing that I do know married or single, all of the responsibilities when it comes down to parenting, in my personal opinion, is going to always fall on the mother. Even as far as the home, the house, the kids and their health, all of the weight of the world always falls on the woman. To add, this is her third marriage. So we already know that we're also not living in a time where people believe in till death do us part. Now, I do understand if I get bashed for what I'm about to say, but I'm going to say it anyway, okay? She is already pregnant with the 11th child, so it's no going back with that. But I do hope that this will be her last baby. I remember a few years ago, one of her kids had cancer. And even if you don't have a child that's terminally ill or anything like that, kids still require a bunch of time and attention. I hate to sound selfish, but where does your time come for yourself? In between divorces and popping out babies, when do you... Or when will you have time for yourself? Now, I just finished being very judgmental and I'm about to be a huge hypocrite and bust something out of the Bible. In Genesis, God did talk about being fruitful and multiplying. Maybe she is just trying to follow his word. With that being said, congratulations to Kiki Wyatt and her husband. The most important thing is her having a healthy baby, no matter if it's a boy or a girl, baby number one or 11. That's going to be it, and that's going to be all. Thank you so much for watching. All my links will be posted down below. I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.